Hey, this is Brandon Ryan here from Roland, and today I'm here to talk to you about the System 1M plug-out synthesizer. So System 1M is a version of the System 1, and it, uh, but it doesn't have a keyboard, and it can be rack-mounted, 19-inch rack mount, it can be used as a tabletop unit, uh, but you can also put it in your rack system. Now, the beauty of the System 1M is that for those who are either uh, well-versed in your rack modular or who are curious about your rack modular, it's a great first stop. Uh, reason being is it can be used on a tabletop or in a rack with standard MIDI jacks, standard wall power, works just like any other synthesizer module that you would expect. Uh, but it can be repatched. It is semi-modular. You'll see that these uh, red jacks are CV gate. The blue jacks are audio. So you can experiment with uh, running other audio through it, repatching the structure of the synthesizer, and also incorporating it with other Eurorack or modular gear. Uh, so let's take a listen. I've got it here in a rack. Uh, I've got CV gate uh, going to it. I've got a sequence coming from a, a TV3, and we'll just take a quick listen. Uh, notice also that the controls, as I manipulate them, it is uh, one knob per function, and they are higher than uh, MIDI resolution, so really, really smooth. <laughs> So this is the System 1M's internal sounds that we're using right now. We'll get to the plug out in a second. But so it works perfectly well um, as its own synthesizer. But once you want to start maybe getting more experimental, there's other things you can do. For instance, uh, we'll go ahead and patch the LFO out into the filter and let it manipulate this. And we'll adjust the filter and take a listen. Open up the filter a little bit. And I'll play with some of the uh, waveforms. So this is a way we can manipulate it through using modulation from the LFO to modulate the filter. There's a ton of other possibilities in what you can do with this. And the System 1M uh, is a, a four-voice synthesizer, uh, makes amazing sounds, and uh, again, it's a great way to get into uh, modular with something that doesn't require you to get a case, doesn't require Eurorack power, uh, but once you do put it in a Eurorack, it's got a adapter that lets you connect to Eurorack power, as we're using here, uh, but can easily be used standalone. Now let's talk about the plug-out capabilities. Uh, not only is it a great synthesizer in and of itself, but we have a series of VST and AU plugins. There's the SH-101, Classic, Iconic Synth, the SH-2, the ProMars, and more coming. And those can be dumped into here via computer. So this can then, with the push of a button, turn into another classic Roland synthesizer. So in here right now, I happen to have the SH-101. And let's go ahead and just take a listen to that. We'll call up a patch. And by the way, the uh, System 1M itself has about 12 different oscillator types, including FM and vowel, etc. But once we turn it into an SH-101, it has exactly the capabilities and structure that that synthesizer would have. So let's go ahead and play, and we'll listen to the different character now of the SH-101. Classic SH-101. <laughs> And then the amazing thing is, is that the SH-101 was never a modular or semi-modular synthesizer. But once you put it into the System 1M hardware, you essentially have a semi-modular SH-101. 
And now, right now, I'm just repatching its structure uh, within itself, but I can easily now go out to any other modular or Eurorack gear that supports CV gate. So the System 1M is an amazing synthesizer uh, in and of itself. It supports plug-out synthesizers fully. Uh, great entry into the world of modular for uh, seasoned modular people or people who are just getting into modular. Uh, if you have any questions about it, contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. I'm Brandon Ryan from Roland. Thank you very much. Wow, 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 wow.